my truck says it's 109 outside. Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to see our future videos. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. All right, guys, we're ready to go. We're in the front door, getting ready to go to the grocery store just for a minute. Now, it's not going to be a long video. It's just going to be a reality video. So, as soon as you walk outside, you can just feel this heaviness of heat. So, uh, we're going to walk over to uh, the truck, which is right here. And uh, here's where the first nightmare starts. Um, let me get it unlocked. Okay, we're gonna. This is what it's like to get into your truck. A big burst of hot air. Just you can't imagine. I wish I could. We had feel a vision type thing. And uh. Whew, um, most people in Arizona have our covers here. This cover is so hot that it actually hurts to fold it up. And my steering wheel, even though we have it covered, is exceptionally hot. You just can't imagine what it's like. So the first thing you want to do is get your car fired up and get that air conditioner going. And we're going to get these things down. imagine how thick the air feels in this truck. Just got the fi engine fired up. Luckily my air conditioner works pretty fast, but my truck will hardly be cooled down. I only have to drive about a mile to the grocery store and uh, so let's get going. when you see people in Phoenix in the summer is the steering wheel is killing my hands uh, and imagine if I didn't have those covers in my windshield just how hot my steering wheel alone would be to touch you, you can't imagine and I'm already sweating and uh, ow. <laughs> that kid, it's hot <laughs> anyway. So uh, I'm going to focus on driving here and then get to the store and we'll talk more. grocery store. I'm leaving my engine running if I hear the air conditioner going. It feels a little bit better in here. But just about the time the truck's getting comfortable, I've got to shut it off. I'm going to put the little mask back in the windshield because uh, you can see in the windshield, the sun is coming right through that and it's going to be hot. So the other thing that's really unique about Arizona is this time of year, people will park not necessarily up front. They'll park where, if there's trees in the parking lot, people will seek out shade to park their car in. So they'll, they'll park in the back just to get their car in shade. And that you don't see that often, but shade is a commodity around here. So anyway, I'm not gonna take you into the store. I'm gonna talk to you when I get back. Just gotta pick up a few things and then we'll talk a little bit more about the heat. Okay, we're back from the grocery store. I haven't started the engine yet, but I'm going to because it's hot. 
Now, of course, I got to take the covers off again. And you better hope your house is close if you buy ice cream or something like that. Because uh, my truck says it's 109 outside. 109. Imagine what is inside this truck right now. So we're gonna take uh, the little windshield covers off, dart back home and unload my groceries, which are in the back seat back here. And uh, one of the things I wanted to point out real quick, in Arizona, especially this time of year, do not leave your pet in the car. Uh, it will kill them. Don't leave your child in the car. It will kill them. The heat is exceptionally hard on tires on a truck and batteries. Um, if you if your battery lasts two years here, you're in good shape. Uh, so always get a battery warranty that's more than two years because it seems like they time them perfect. And uh, so yeah, um, the other thing is you notice on my truck is I have a uh, cloth cover on my dash. In Arizona, a lot of people's cars, if they've been around for a while, the dashes will start warping. And uh, so these covers right here uh, will keep your truck pristine or your car. So there's a few tips for you. Let's go home. Yeah, one more thing uh, as I'm driving home I wanted to remind you about is if you had a pet, you can't walk your pet in this weather. Uh, that's why you'll see a lot of uh, funny videos where people put boots on their dogs and you think they're being mean. No. Uh, in, in Phoenix, you have to put boots on your dog to keep them from burning their feet from the concrete. Seriously. So, uh, yeah, having a pet is not easy in Arizona during the summer. So, uh, yeah, I'm just about ready to pull into the house here and then uh, we'll uh, talk a little more. So, we're back. I gotta keep the air conditioner going. So, uh, hopefully I won't get heat stroke going from the truck to the house about three times with the groceries. But anyway, this is a day in the life of Arizona during a hot summer. Uh, there's a lot of things you gotta be careful about, uh, but you have to remember it's short-lived. So a lot of people say, oh, I could never live here, and they keep thinking Arizona's 105 and 10 all the time. It's not. It's beautiful. Nine months out of the year, it's gorgeous. You just got to go through the summer during the hot, this hot period. And uh, that's just how it is. Every region's got its downfall. Every one of them. Heck, in the Caribbean, you got to deal with the humidity. Uh, and monsoons, just like us. So anyway, guys, I hope that was uh, enjoyable. Maybe a little educational to you. Arizona's a beautiful place to live. But it has three months of really hot weather. It's hard on your vehicle. It's hard on equipment in the backyard. It's harder on older people. Uh, we have to be careful. We stay inside a lot um, for the three months. And uh, But all in all, it's a wonderful state to live in. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.